About 45 minutes ago, the power went on to the two buildings that have been in the dark since last night. We walked into both of those buildings. The elevator worked in one of them. It did not work in another. So one woman had to walk up 13 flights of stairs. The building was extremely humid and muggy inside. One woman who lives in building 301, which was without power since last night, texted me and said she had to take her mother to the hospital because she was hyperventilating and could barely breathe from the heat. That is how bad it is inside these buildings. So let's take you through and explain how all of this started. Wednesday afternoon, there was a transformer fire in one of the buildings, one of the six buildings that make up the Jackson houses. That knocked out power to all of the buildings. The power was out from Wednesday afternoon until Thursday night for some people. But then when the power came back on last night, it went out to two of these buildings and it just came back on this morning. So people spent their nights awake, unable to sleep because of the heat. One man said that his apartment was about 80 five degrees. We saw him walking around at four o'clock in the morning because he just couldn't sleep and couldn't stand to be there. Uh, there was a cooling bus that was here uh, overnight so people could get some reprieve from the heat, from the heat if they needed it. Uh, we tried to get some answers as to why it took so long to get power back. Uh, yesterday, uh, NYCHA told us that we had to talk to the Office of Emergency Management. This morning, the Office of Emergency Management told us we had to talk to NYCHA. So here's what happened when and we tried to get some answers about when the power was coming back on and also what one guy had to say who lost his power last night. Can you give us an ETA of when the power is going to go back on? Ma'am, just contact the press. Uh, nice oh, press. Okay, right, ma'am. Power been up since 9 30 at night. We've been calling housing all day. They saying a fuse blew out and now they just got a new generator and they just put the power back on. What was it like sleeping here? Hot, sweaty, nasty. Last night, I had to sleep in my mother's law's house because it was out all night last night. So again, the power is back on, but we're going to check to see if that elevator is still out of service. We've reached out to NYCHA and have not heard back. The big question is, why did this take so long? Has the problem been fixed so that this will not happen again? We're still waiting to hear back uh, on those questions. And as soon as we have answers, we will bring them to you.